Hard as foam now. Three balls, four players. Get ready for one to go. And a counter, cross courts it. Everyone's still alive. Nocturnals with the burden to throw. Four balls, two players. Rips it to the ground though. Play called by the captain balance. They spread out, head to the line. Shot so low. Good counter moves. Captain Balance taken out in the process, trying to be a hero. We now have our first player advantage, Nocturnals. Shots fired on Cody Burke. He's still alive. Second shot went low. He's got the ball burden now. Hard throw. Big miss. Back and forth it goes. Folks, you've had to listen to just my voice so far, but pretty soon you get to hit, listen to the, the sultry tones of Bill Fisher. <laughs> Two on one. Burke holding his own, lets it rip a little bit high. Quick counter, misses the captain. Or is it just his number right there? What's the, what's the marker on the top left on their jerseys? Oh, wow. Good reaction, just staying up. Better reaction, getting down, but one, two, gets him. One on one. Burke lines up. Get ready for a two ball block. Ball goes low. Countered, and another two ball block. And uh-oh, here it is. Well, we've got one comment so far here by Draco Rex. Dodgeball TV, TTV put in a little test post. So it looks like the, the, the uh, commentaries, or the comments are working again. And speaking of commentary working again. Both sides are ready. For no blocking. So, sudden death, no blocking here. Notice how Captain Valance drops his ball there. He's also a great catcher. Very, very. Well, hello, Bill. Good morning. Burden to throw, Nocturnals. Eyes up for the counterattack, though. One, two. Cross court. Counters back. Well, as per tradition, Bill, I think you need to be gushing about Sam Coe pretty soon. Oh, absolutely. How can you not? How can you not? This close to Valentine's Day? No. <laughs> Bird in the throw, Nocturnals. Three seconds left on the shot clock. At the last moment, they let it rip, but miss. So, Bill, take a look at center court there. Will you? Willier, new player for Hardest Foam. Uh, they did an amazing job. Ooh. What a catch! Oh. That's classic balance, though. So just like being able That's to use full body. That was uh, in his sizzle reel from uh, Worlds. That, that same catch. So everyone knows he can do that. <sighs> what a play. Ooh. Whoa, what a hit. Okay. Four players left for Nocturnals. We got five for Hardest Foam. Yeah, usually when it's uh, not in no block, Wong is uh, so strong and just staying alive in that corner, but it's no block, so can't keep it away from there. I love how it takes out that advantage. No counter, smart team play here. They're gonna be taking their, their play call. Five balls, four players. And three seconds left in the shot clock. Good job calling that reset, and they get at pretty least much a one. full send right there. Yeah. Big commit. Oh. Nasty oh. shots. One, two. Look out for the last player. He didn't even get the ball out. 
that's a tough spot to be in. That you start pushing up, you start trying to get aggressive, and then you're immediately aggressively on defense. It's a hard spot to be in, right? Yeah, well, it's like it's almost as if he had like a play call in mind, and then the hardest foam realized it's a one v situation. So all of a sudden they're like, we don't care what you have, we're going after you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I think he he had a, like a second guess of what he was planning on doing. It was like, oh, actually hit reverse. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, right, like, y you're anything against one, and uh, a trade is a win, so. Absolutely. I think, actually, one of the, like, the hidden parts of, like, dodgeball strategy is when you do have that player advantage and going for a trade. Okay, so we're... Okay, we're so this... Two 10 minute halves? Is that the, the setup for the. Ish. It's 21 minutes running, but we're making it look like. Got it. This is the, the running clock in, in, the, in between, and. Okay. So, Draco so that no block cuts into the second half time. What are these two little. Cool. Yeah, they did that last year as well, so this is consistent. And we're off again. Sam sends it, balls up in the air. Great teamwork, but wow! That was a gut shot right there. Oh my god, yeah. I think that, yeah, that catch does count though. He did get that in time. Bird in the throw, Nocturnals. Okay, hard as foam, your throw. Patient play call. I mean, if anything, right, they've, they've earned that 3-0 lead. They don't have to be anything but patient. Nice job getting through the blocker of Wong there. Right, winger Wong is taken out. Five, five, four, four. Back and forth, up and down. Oh my. Here we go. <laughs> this is the point where I say, like, maybe the advantage was on that side of the court. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> the sun hits that side of the court <laughs> different <laughs> in this enclosed gym with no sun. You know, it's pretty inspiring. Just for anyone who can't see, there's a beautiful mural on the yeah. wall. Maybe. Oh, right to us. <laughs> the uh, the other gym has that giant, like, what, the Pegasus? Huge, it was a Mustang. Mustang. It's the home of the Mustangs here at the uh, L.A. Matheson Secondary. Balls up and, and another, another catch opportunity. Oh, captain, my captain, Young, and the restless. Yeah, <laughs> If there's anything I relate to, it's being nocturnal. <laughs> yeah, it's very Bill Fisher to be. Here we go. Captain in the middle, but it's the right winger with the play call. Here we go. Let's see what Wong chooses. Some back and forth action, but it was Wong that's taken out in the counterattack. Shane Solberg uh, posted a, a clip of a lot of all these like up plays that have been happening where I could hit someone, the ball's up, they're calling for it, and they get the catch. And all I've seen from Nocturnals is making those exact yes, they're plays. They're the ones. <laughs> hey, you know the hype video is for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> they learned a lot from that video, and Hardest One might be regretting it a little bit, but looking at the score, Ooh. they don't as well. <laughs> but you know what? Like, it's funny is you should never learn from Hardest One unless you just have a cannon as an arm. Because like, their <laughs> solo throws are brilliant, but we'd normally chastise a team for this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's learning uh, tactics versus strategy, like, they, they have tactics that only they can use. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like. yeah. A great teamwork here by Nocturnals. Three players. Burke with brilliant first block. But that's why you do the one-two punch. Oh, yeah. A little delayed timing there, getting through. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you just do the one punch. <laughs> this is one punch man right here. <laughs> Oh, out, out a ball. They don't take it though. Okay. Hey, two player advantage. Spread it out. This is a player who has had a 1v situation at the world stage. Absolutely. Great counter attack. So much power coming out of that throw from balance. Oh, lull in the action right now. Four seconds on the shot clock. They go high, low, and they get it. First point on the board. 
Nocturnals waking up, getting on the board. Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for showing up, everybody. <laughs> I didn't miss a single match. And the toss back. <laughs> Sam is in a great position, but it's a miss. Listen, every, every set matters. So uh, just the fact that Nocturnals is learning from those first four mm -hmm. losses and, and coming out with a win against the hardest bomb. Like Whoa! Oh. Yeah, the ball was in his hands. It just could not stay there. Equal and opposite was a bit too much there. <laughs> Today's physics lesson. <laughs> Brought to you by Hard AF. Successful block. Lao staying alive. Right winger with the play call. Everyone's got a ball. Solo oh, throw disarmed. taking a burst. Wow. He had a ball in hand as well. Yeah. Cheers on the nocturnal side. They've got lots of balls, lots of players. And the advantage. Oh. Decker unable to come up with that catch. Had it on his fingertips. Yeah. Two players, four balls. Sam Coe on the right wing. Will you on the with the throw takes out Liang. Counterattack didn't work though. You have Lau. Those are those moments in transition. You want to have the edge. Three, two, one. Shot devastatingly. Low and brilliant, but Ko staying alive. Okay, Ko takes that shot. Ko's shot has just gotten better and better over time. I remember coming up for the Nemesis tournament, and like from then till now, Ko's throw has just gotten so much better. Well, I I definitely think the thing about Harris Foam is that they're quite aware of their like respective strengths, and mm -hmm. then just keep working on improving each one of them. Um, like to the point where like you know any one of them can be doing that solo shot. Yeah. And when we're talking about like strengths too, like all of these players are better than average at almost like essentially everything, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like when we're yeah. talking about relative <laughs> strength, we're talking about the, the strengths of their strengths. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> From plus skills to demigod. What a throw! One V three. The men from Nocturnals are pretty excited right now, but they're being very patient. Get ready for a counterattack. Oh, absolutely. 3v1. Yeah, Ko's Never doing mind. a smart thing. Yeah, Ko's not going to take the line, right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. that charge will just come right at him. Okay, three players heading to the line, all spread out. I think it was the... I forget which match it was. Maybe it was the, the bronze medal match? or I forget what it was, but where, where Ko took like seven minutes off the clock alone. Um, oh, it was their game against Fury at Nationals, mm. where he took like seven minutes off the clock by himself. Oh, like on the, yeah, in the semifinals? Uh, or, yeah. Or, yeah, okay, yep, yep. The epic. The, yeah, either semifinals or quarterfinals, one of the two, but what a match. Go back and watch that one. Don't listen to my commentary, but go back <laughs> and watch that match. During the rise of the West. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great job by Ko, just managing the court. He doesn't need to do anything crazy, just and playing his game, playing it smooth, not giving them an inch, making them try to take whatever they want. Well, and speaking of what you said there with respective skills, like clock killing, even, you know, obviously he just took out a player here, so it's anyone's game. Yeah. It's such a hard situation to be in, right? Like, usually in those... You know, you don't want, you're, you're three against one, you don't want to be looking for a catch, right? You're ending it, you're not bringing someone back in, there's no real benefit. And you have three once, so you can trade and, and take it out. But you're also playing with a clock here, you want to kill it, you want to bring this to a, like, something like a 4 3, right? And so you do want to, like, rush at the same time. Oh no! But he's now he's ready for a fast <laughs> break right there, and there's a minute and 27 seconds left, and he still has got his two ball defense. I have no idea. Which? Right. 
Oh. So I. Oh. 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 Okay. So our clock is a little bit off. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the quiet, uh, unawareness of what was going on. So there's no point yet. One v one. No blocking. So that two ball blocks that, that have been going on. Not today. Oh, what a shot, Lau! Nocturnals take the final two. Amazing. Great match to start the day. Chat, I want to know what were your plays of the match? What were those, uh, what were those big moments, those big hits? Fantastic catches. Way to start the day. Yeah. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Next game is going to be Cerberus against Seven. Do you know the uh, the background of Cerberus? Like the the mythical. Uh, no, the team. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I I think we're aware of them. I'm going to pull up the 2022 teams. I think a lot of them were Nemesis. Uh, yeah, so they're a mix. So my understanding is Shane Solberg and I think it was Vanish, uh wanted to put together like another team yep. and like recruited like a bunch of strong people and uh, and put together or, or like came to like coach Cerberus. Yep. Um, and they've been practicing. I think if uh, if you've been watching the Hardest Foam TikTok. Uh, they'll occasionally be live streaming like their matches, mm. and I think it's them versus Cerberus okay. that, yep. that's been yep. training. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think my uh, my three right now that I'm looking at has been uh, uh, was Nocturnals, Cerberus, and Hardest Foam, where I think the the big three coming into this. Uh, I don't know. Is Vendetta uh, back this year? Okay, well, Nocturnals got fourth last year. Yeah. I would say Hyper is probably their, like, there's, if there's a 3A, 3B, that there might be. Yeah, Hyper is definitely um, up there, too. Okay, I mean, I'll do a little walkabout to get more familiar with these players. Uh, I'm good for now. Not me. We'll be back in one moment for the next match. Getting some setup here.
short court, Cerberus. On the far end, out of Abbotsford and area, seven. So the Cerberus in Greek mythology, the, the monstrous watchdog of the underworld, is usually up to three heads. Oh, Matthew, you know about Cerberus. Yeah. Well, because this is Team Cerberus. Ready to get going. And the opening rush, toss back, did not go successfully. Eric Soth of seven with the first shot. Big hit. Getting it started. First blood. Um, faking by Cerberus. Right winger. Slowly making his way up. And just to let you know, on uh, court three, title beat Frenzy. Okay. And seven won 4 2 over Eclipse. Also, seven's coming off a little victory here. Riding high, feeling lucky, this number seven. This was, yep. Score is brought to you by Mariella Johnson. Ball advantage over to Cerberus with a full court. Three players heading to the line. Right winger lets it rip and misses. Burden to throw, numbers on seven. I keep wanting to say number seven. That's Dexter Vanderwick with the throw on the right wing. Boom, boom. Two out. A little heat seeker there on his shoulder takes him out. And now two players left for seven. Four balls, two players. Now, I was just about to say that uh, Dexter you. Vanderwick there is the ultimate survivor. But uh, thankfully, th that happened before I started saying that. Lots of players in a 1v situation, though. Here we go, Cerberus. Oh, kapow! First shot coming in. The four heads of Cerberus there. Uh, <laughs> only one needed to chomp. <laughs> and a point on the board for Cerberus. Okay, let's see how they... Uh, nothing, nothing exciting happened off the rush last match, right? Uh, sort of a kick ball, so it was quite the advantage for seven. Major improvement for Cerberus. And Eric Soth is taken out. Yeah, quiet rush. Uh. Ooh, big hits. Schwartz is taken out. Patrick David takes that left wing. So hard to catch the ball in hand, but for some players, it is their bread and butter to be able to do that. Oof. Protecting the teammate, retrieving a ball. MVP. Five balls for seven. <laughs> Good, up and down there. Kevin Chung in the middle. So mobile. Good pressure by David in this left corner for Cerberus, just not letting up. Patrick David's gone to a couple of nationals. Played for Ignite in 2019. And gets counterattacked. Oh, and a one two punch! Goodbye, Wilson Wong. Oh, that's too bad. It's, there's literally nothing. Like, could actually, that would have been the most amazing catch if it hit number three in the back <laughs> and you retrieve it again. <laughs> Someone's got to name that move. Someone who does it gets to name it. 
Yeah, it's got to be named <laughs> after the first person that gets a, a Twitch stream clip. Burden to throw, seven. With four seconds left in the shot clock. Up, down, counter attack, ball's flying. Oh. No catch. 2v1. And Chung tried to come up with that catch from the cross court and just couldn't keep it in. Rafael Lascano, co captain of Cerberus, veteran of the game. Sends it deep. Oh Gets man, preemptive strike. 1v1 though. Get your eyes on Vanderwick. Just try and hit that object. He is nimble as can be. Ball up, down, and a what? beautiful catch. We had the best angle on that. I, I hope, I hope <laughs> the camera saw that. Oh my. He, he took the same train as that ball. Yeah, he timed that perfectly. To, uh, oh. So, in general, you don't want to give up both your balls on the line with your opponent 10 feet away, right? Like, he thought he saw that second More opening. More than just in general. Definitely don't do that. <laughs> but. <laughs> but if you're going to do it, getting out of there and getting a catch, like, what a way to make up for it. 2-0 for oh, Cerberus. I, I, what a game changer, because they're like, oh, you got him dead to rights. Yeah. And, and it was like a football catch the way he, like, went with it. Player advantage now for Cerberus. And, like, there, there are people out there who don't, I feel like, you know, who are out there and they comment on posts like, oh, well, why didn't you take that shot? You were five feet away from him. And it's like, well, sometimes you want to bait that move out or that guy's a catcher and even from 10 yep, feet away, yep, yep. he can catch me. Like, there are times when at the top level, like, people won't throw there <laughs> until, <laughs> like, that first move is made. Ball advantage. So keep that in your mind for later when something happens and you're wondering why they didn't throw. Over to seven. Hard hit. Unblockable nearly. David has taken out defensive moves here by Cerberus. Good throw by the left winger of seven. Three minutes left in the first half. Ball burden, Cerberus, they send one. Ball pop up, but about 15 feet too far for that left corner to try to go for. Swartz blocks, whoa, and there's a quick counter that almost got him. Good teamwork, I, he was stepping up, he was almost gonna be taken out there with that second throw. Yeah. Great court awareness on his end. Four players left for Cerberus. They're on the defense. Here comes seven. I'm really liking the pressure from these corners. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, they're not just, not just keeping it for themselves, keeping themselves alive. They're, they're keeping the middles alive really well. One shot fired. We're going back and forth because it's four on four. Last to throw, seven. Perfectly thrown. Vanderwick's taken out, but there's a catch in return. Yeah, and gets Schwartz on the other side, so that's three points in his pocket. Seven needs this. Counterattack is beautiful. Back courts it. What a rip. Feel Speaking of ripped, choice. he wanted to make sure we could see those arms. Yeah. Soft is taken out. Wow, wow, wow. The advantage has slipped away. Two on two. Oh, fix, goes wide. Three with another oh, strong hit. Through the blocker and rolled up the arm. Wilson Wong. Also, we got to remember it's Cerberus math, right? Like dog years is seven. This is a server team, so it's 6v1 right now. Right? 
Uh oh. Did he catch that? Wow. What are these teams doing? I, I was like, uh oh, man of the match here. <laughs> Wilson Wong is about to yeah. take him out. But that's not the only cool catch of the match. He said, watch this. I can do it too. Oh, wow. The advantage flips back. Seven, you need this. But you're going up against number seven. Jason Peterson with a strong hit takes it. What a match. A point for each head now for Cerberus. Yeah, Peterson doing a great job of just sealing the deal there. That catch by... And we're off, no blocking. Ooh, big hit. Right in the pocket, but sometimes you throw it hard enough and uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful spot. And beautifully, yeah. As, as perfectly thrown as that could have been. Yeah. What a catch! Love those hip catches. Ups, great ups. Lascano staying alive by saying just the perfect position, left wing. Bird in the throw, Cerberus. Two seconds on the shot clock. Ooh. Big hits, taking out the whole right wing. Soth and Vanderwick are out. Good job recognizing the situation there, right? Getting that first out, realizing they're gonna have to throw a second and going for that second one. No reason to keep three balls and call another play. Four balls, two players, seven, sends it. But two players taken out in the process, that was great. Yeah, a lot of pop-ups. These players are getting just enough on it. And Big thanks to Dana Hart, 13, with the follow. Peterson tapped out after winning that last set. One, B. Here we go, let's see. Shane Babu takes out his opponent. We talked about that last match in uh, Hard as Foam and Nocturnals, right? Like going for that catch in a 3v1. Oh! And another. Cannons! Oh my goodness! Oh my. Right on the knees as he's dropping to the ground. So a point here for Cerberus. Four, nothing. Three, oh. Two of those were drop catches. From more than 30 feet, too. Like. Ugh. This match is so close. Like, don't let the score confuse you here. Like. Yeah, no, no kidding. Like, it, you, you think 4 0 could be a route, but this was the, twisted at the end every time. Yeah. They've all been with like one player left doing something phenomenal. And Rex Akon 5,000 with the follow? What, Mitch, how many followers do we have now? At least three. Over 8,000. <laughs> and a shot right on the shoulder takes out Soth. <laughs> Advantage. Oh, it's even now for Cerberus. And seven. And to the Time 88 people in, watching so us, thank <laughs> you. You're watching the 2023 Dodgeball BC Provincial Championships. Yeah. 2023, it feels like just yesterday we were here for the 2022 ones. And <laughs> <laughs> And here we go, advantage Cerberus. Pumps and a big rip. Lascano taking out his opposing winger. Yeah, great job. Making him pay for that cross court, right? Nothing free. Ooh. Seven's feeling the pressure now. You can tell with some of these shots. Yeah. 
Yeah, Seven's looking for a lot of cross courts, a lot of like trying to catch them out. Uh, I don't think they need to do that. Like like we're saying, like these games have been so much closer than uh, the score really lets off. And like I know they have to make up for lost time, but uh, I think you're almost paying for time with, with stuff like that instead of just playing that confident like. Stay with your game. I, I don't think they need to change anything up. They're, they're looking mm -hmm. really good on seven. And and these players so familiar with one another. They got the Abbotsford and kind of uh, Surrey area. Great ball with the throw. Takes out a player. Nice. Ball played in the 2018 Nationals in Winnipeg. Has a brilliant block right there. So, you know, not, not to throw shade here, but I think this match would qualify for worst jerseys <laughs> combined. <laughs> you know, we have a long day ahead of us. <laughs> I, I, I just don't know a team that has, like, T-shirts versus, like, just wear what you want. Whoa! Big hit. Taking out Chu Chong. Three on four. Cerberus now with the advantage. Shot hits the retriever, goes in perfectly to ball, so no big deal. Pump fakes, nothing biting. Keeping at the line, defending his teammates. No damage. Three on three. Kind of a lull in the action right now. Yeah, a little I'm over four minutes left in the game. Things are slowing down a little bit. Right now, it's that uh, it's that weird moment of ball control, right? Like, if you have four balls, you want to keep four balls on offense. And kind of playing that straightforward game. The second someone gets an out, you're going to see this game speed up again real fast. Yeah, there, there is a magic to, like, how locked in 3v3 can be for a while. Because, like, if it's, if it's the solo exchange. Yeah. You can you can kind of have a stalemate for a while. Yeah, that that mid game, right? Like, I like to think of uh, ooh, gets Good through that blocking shot. ball. It, like chases your forearm. Now here we go, back down to two v two. Well, thank you for asking, Carm. Yes, it is Ben and Ben and Bill. I said my own name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> ben and Bill. <laughs> on the mics. Just goes to show, we're going to get a lot of names wrong. It's even we're bin between the two of us. <laughs> yeah. I said it like a, like a New Zealander. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, seven. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Bring it down to the last second, right to us. Gets and the headshot. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clip that. <laughs> okay. I really hope we get to see some ma magic out of uh, Dexter right here. You'll you'll see. It's you know he's been playing for quite some time, and just partly his ability to just vanish and be small when you're throwing at him. Hmm. He's, he doesn't necessarily always go low. He's, you can see that like it, he's he's happy to maintain his vertical, uh, which is normally like a, a terrible rookie move when you see someone twist away, but they're actually not doing anything. You're watching my game, I see. <laughs> Ah, beautiful, beautiful hit. 1v1. Lascano. Anderwick. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big guy. Taking out Wong. He's been so Bennett. great at just taking the shots that he wants. Goes coast to coast. Misses. Lots of balls for Vanderwick. Two ball block. Countered. Back and forth. Let's it all go. Great presence of mind. You can see his, his whole body was ready if it was catchable. Yeah, great job. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're on the board. Here we Third go. Side of seven. Is this going to be the day of four twos? Four in a row for one team and then two in a row for the other? Let's okay, see. We'll, we'll see if it's a common score. Well, and like we had earlier, somewhere I have the score. You have written down the scores that I saw. We had a 4-3, four, 4-2, four, so it'll be a very common score. Oh, that's you? Get out of here. Just kidding. <laughs> Boom. 
Big block. You want to be a mod? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Matthew the mod. Five, Here we go. Four, three. Shots on the wing, staying alive. One minute. Ooh. <laughs> that ball just came out of his hand. <laughs> Love it that, that we just need the noise, like, ooh. Uh, it was like a really nice shoulder shot, but like the way the ball just really like zipped out of his hand. Oh, protecting his teammates. Servers coming after him, though. Great defense by Soth counterattacking. Great comment there by Digi Matt. <laughs> hey. Refs make such a huge difference. Like not not that the game like changes, but it's just so nice to have that third party there keeping in control. It's like having an MC at an event. Yeah. Right, especially like playing with really good refs, always greatly appreciated. Right, like. And that's the end of the match. We're gonna do sudden death. There's three players remaining for seven. I believe four? No, five. Ooh, five for service. Every point matters. Let's see what seven can do. Nice shot. Um, seven takes out seven. If you're going to put it anywhere, that's a good place to start. Oh, no. Okay, that, I thought that could have been a, sh a refractor on the shoe there. Yeah. There was just such a ball advantage there for Cerberus. Remember, no blocking. Back and forth, everyone's staying alive. What a catch! Oh, see what I mean? That mobility is unbelievable. Ah, oh, nice tap. Better throw there. But yeah, One. great job being up and down the court not taking his eyes off anything and, and being that mobile. Oh, good throw. And here we are. That is your match. Five to one. Okay. Should we, should we learn a little bit more about other dodgeball leagues, like what's happening now in the uh, elementary school scene? <laughs> Bill, how about you take a, a short break? Yes. And we'll, we'll entertain the audience. So, Matthew, right now we were, we were just watching provincial level dodgeball. Uh, and it's six players versus six. There's a six balls. Um, the middle line, and we've got the little toss back. That's the activation line. What are some of the differences that sometimes when you're playing dodgeball at the primary school level that do you play dodgeball the same way, or is it different? It's different. Okay. So can you tell me about one of the styles that you play? Uh, bench ball. Okay, bench ball. That sounds a lot more fun. So you're, like, throwing benches at one another? No. No, not at all? Okay. Uh, so, uh, it's a two teams. Uh, if you do more of the dodgeball, you're muted. Oh, oh, one second. Okay. Um, we're muted. Here, get the mute on, mute it. Okay, smart. Generally, smart move there, Bill. Hello? Okay. Hello? Speaking of, can you get the scores? Okay, here we go. Okay, so Matthew, you were telling me about bench ball. Yeah. Two um, teams. Uh, I don't hear myself though. And if you hit someone on the opposite side with a uh, dodgeball, then they have to go on your side and stay on the bench and they need to catch the dodgeball that their teammate throws to them. But if there's multiple people there, you can choose to catch it, hold it above your head, and walk it to your side. Or you can try to make a basketball shot from the bench to free the, the bench. whole bench. Okay, so when I die, if I've been hit, I make my way to the opposing side where there's a bench and I stand on it? Yeah. Okay, and if I get caught, or if I catch my teammate's throw, 
I'm resurrected and I get to play again. But you need to hold the ball above your head. Okay. Or, and, and wait till you get to your side, or you can uh, make a basketball shot to, um, for if you uh, score the basketball shot, then the, the whole bench is free. Wow. Uh, do catches count for anything? Uh, catches mean so if I'm, if I'm playing? Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, I remember Dr. playing Dodgeball. Dr. Dodgeball. Okay, so we're going to talk about this. I actually remember very little about Dr. Dodgeball. Okay, so uh, there's this like, uh, there's bodyguards, there's a doctor, and there's uh, throwers. Bodyguards? Bodyguards defend the doctor, because if the doctor's out, he can't be revived. But if uh, throwers uh, get out, doc the doctor drags it back to uh, behind a soccer net. Okay. And then that, uh, then they can stand up and continue playing. Cool. Do you have a favorite position? And for and first uh, person to uh, eliminate the other team's doctor wins. Whoa! Just when the doctor dies, the what? game over. Yeah, if you eliminate the doctor, but there's bodyguards uh, protecting the doctor. Okay. 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 That makes sense. Do you like being the doctor? Okay, I'm gonna check in with the uh, the match right now. We're soon gonna be watching Eclipse take on Frenzy. Okay, so Matthew, we're gonna go back to the main commentary unless we have a little question here. I don't want to lose this mic. Mitch, do we have like another headset? What? Oh, he, he, he doesn't want to relinquish the headset. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not as familiar with Eclipse, so if you're in the, the Twitch chat and you have something to say, please let us know. And then, but I am very aware of Frenzy out of Victoria, BC, though it looks like they might have one player uh, out of Vancouver, unless they're just new for me. Oh yeah, I, I think someone's got their own GoPro there. Okay, yes. I'm going to have a little. <laughs> hey, if you were subscribed, you wouldn't see that. No, no, you get an ad on the iPad. Yeah, if you have Amazon Prime, you do uh, you get a free sub every month. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Remind me your name again. Matthew. Matthew? Yeah. It's nice to have you in the commentary booth, Matthew. <laughs> hey. Who's this young upstart taking my job? <laughs> Get starting here in uh, any second. Oh, you know this team. A lot of them. A lot of them played with. What was it? Uh, Last so, year. So that was Vendetta, right? For the most part. Yes. Why? Well, maybe they no longer have a Vendetta. <laughs> and it's a new era. So, 
the scores here. Hyper three, Nocturnals five. That was a court two, no Hyper three, Nocturnals five. Okay, and then uh, Title three, Ven Vendetta. Oh, there. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Okay, there is a Vendetta still? Well, someone said Vendetta, but they didn't get any points, but maybe they might. Oh, okay, shots fired already. Nguyen taken out, as well as, as, well as Wilk. There's a, there is a, a separate team known as Vendetta. So there, there must have been a... a yeah. What do we call it other than a breakout? Trades. Trades? Trades? Yeah. Well, but like, I, I believe Eclipse is a totally new team. Going west. <laughs> Eclipse on the short court here. Big hit. Oh, going wild while his team is suggesting a hold. Burden to throw now by Frenzy. Yeah, Barry saw something. A total eclipse right here. Four balls, four players, uh, five balls. And a couple get sent, no damage. Fast break by Manavong, and he's caught out by his opposing winger, Dustin McDougal. Always a, uh, a frustrating moment, we saw it there. Mm. You throw that catch while they're retreating. Well, and well that's how you do it, though. That is right. <laughs> Switching up the wingers now. That dress didn't have pockets. <laughs> boom, boom. One out. Three players left for Eclipse. Burden the throw, still on Frenzy. Three seconds left on the shot clock as they head to the line. Cowden, the solo, solo throw. And a little shout out to Daryl and Catherine, hopefully watching. <laughs> Evans is taken out. Brad Evans, one of the nastiest catchers in Victoria. Lindsay takes out the center player. Two left, four balls. They get one response? Okay. I thought they still had four on the side of Frenzy, but one for one. Burden now on Frenzy. Cowden, Filion in the middle. Rips it. No damage. Bray on the right wing, defending. Barry with the throw. Two balls going, no hits. Lots of balls on the Eclipse side. I just want to say, so far, my favorite match. These teams both have numbers on their jersey on the front. Thank you both. <laughs> hey, speaking of, yeah, jersey matches, that is a, uh, this might be our best. Yeah. <laughs> Brave pumps. And right in there. That was almost a two ball catch. It, like, it had a pregnant pause. And yeah. then game out. 1v3. Notice the shadow work by Filion staying at the back. Yeah, just looking uh, looking for those stray balls that might be coming the way of, uh, of Bray. Cowden getting that extra ball. And a full send. The... Uh, Eclipse jerseys, not unlike the hardest foam for being that, like, Billion's out. Bray staying alive. I got to give Barry credit. That move you saw, right, like the, the backward slide, going for the feet in that moment, that is the right, yeah, that is the right target. Yeah, anything is a catch zone. Yeah, it's a landing zone. <laughs> exactly, the airport strip. Oh, right in the... Bray, 1v1, Bray and Barry. BVB, 2023 Provincial Dodgeball Championships, Dodgeball BC, and we've got 23 right here, heading to the line, sends it low. Barry versus Bray. Going against the Colt, 44. Good, two ball block, again. Sends it right on target. 
Yeah, Barry was not afraid to, to play aggressive, right? Like you're seeing that real, <laughs> you saw it from the start, right? His team asked him to come back, but he's like, no, no, I see this, I'm gonna take it. And right there, he's, he's not afraid to throw both balls. He thinks he has it. Didn't go his way, but very aggressive from that, that left corner of Eclipse. And Bray, great job capitalizing on it and just paying patient. Yeah, yeah, well, and it's like one of the things we saw in an earlier match is like if you instantly switch from offense to defense, that's you're switching gears and you're gonna break your own internal engine. So he was like, no, I gotta stay with this. I'm already like in motion to fully send it. Maran, pump fakes, but it's Darius with the send, taking out he. What a Big catch! catch. Clips with the advantage. Manavong receives the ball from Frenzy. He's staying low. He wasn't the target by Darish. Anderson in the middle defending his teammates. Taking out Filion. Frenzy's advantage with the extra balls. Norm Canton on the left wing. Pump fakes and it's Manavong that sends it. Goodbye Darish. Oh, man, they're like a, the flying squirrel pump fake. <laughs> Counter-attack City, Manavong's out, but so is opposing player on Eclipse. Dan Lai? Daniel Lai. Canton, Evans, spreading out. Four balls, two players. No damage, four players left for Eclipse. Captain McDougal with the play call. Counters back. It's one of those lulls in the game again. Shot clock counting down. Frenzy. Three seconds. Crosses. McDougal's out. Still frenzy with the ball advantage. Canton coming in to talk to Evans. Four balls, two players. They're spreading out of the wings. High, low. Moran staying alive. Durante. Durante's who I'm watching right now. Anderson and Moran right on Evans. 1v situation now for Canton. Norm. Great job. Another three situation. Whoa. Great I, job I, staying I aggressive. I felt that, like that, yeah. that sound. Yeah. What a boom. Oh, this is one my favorite so far. One v, like one and one. Yeah. You know, there's even like we said, like a lot of the games were very competitive so far, but the score didn't kind of play along. Whereas so far going one here, one there. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds very... And the toss back. Wilkes taken out. Advantage frenzy. Yeah, it's always tough, right? Like having to get out on that rush. Like, oh, he was readied up for the catch. Get your Twitch vote in for the uh, the live odds. See who is going to win this game. I feel like there's no uh, higher high or lower low than being that rush thrower, because if you get that hit on that big player early, you feel good, Major you feel so good. You get out, you get to sit and think about that for a bit. It could be a long time. <laughs> Great catch by the ball retriever, Greg Ball right there. I appreciate, I appreciate you saving One minute. <laughs> <laughs> Throws by Eclipse, missing. Cowden on the left wing with the play call. Shares it with his teammates. Filion in the middle, Bray on the right. With the throw, very unique throws. Yeah, that's that was Bray, right, with that little sidearm underhand. Bit of a twizzler of a throw. And it's Lindsay's taken out, number 55. Another one. Nasty throw. Advantage, Eclipse. 
I feel like that's the kind of throw, too, that you don't see it hit early in the day, and then by the end of the day, that shot's hitting really weird and interesting things because you finally got a target in, you're all yeah, warmed yeah, up, tweaking, and yep, yep. you're seeing how it's spinning that day, how the balls are going. And oh, right in there. Cowden sends it. And right before no block. Yeah, we're in no block now. Okay, so we're at the end of the half. Sudden death. No blocking. No block. Everything's ready and they're off. I had a text from Kendall earlier today asking, what is it called on the No blocking. No blocking. Four players for Frenzy. <laughs> oh, oh, tagged in the back. The aggressive Barry gets it. He's ready for a catch. Goes up, stays alive, twists that shoulder back. He's doing every move possible in the book. Ah. Left, right, up, down. The, the, the Konami code of dodging. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Number 23, the great one. Filion goes for the kill, misses, but uh. it's Bray with the late twist. Bray not letting uh, not letting Barry uh, get anything. Took him out in the one v one earlier. When when your names are uh, an edit have have an edit distance of two like that, right? Like Bray and Barry, you make two changes, same name. You gotta show up. You gotta take out your name doppelganger. <laughs> that moment, so important. Now, like having the, the upper hand going into the second half, obviously with a one point difference. This is yeah. this is basically even still. I mean, not only that, but you know, every point matters. So not only now do you get to play from ahead feeling confident, you're not going to try to overextend. Uh, but just, yeah, like it's so close. Like seeding is going to be so this important. Russ, he is ready on the sprint. And no, no shots fired? Wow. I was ready for them to put on a clinic. I mean, I, I think Cowden kind of prevented it with an unchecked ball pump fake. Okay. Where it's like, yeah, if he threw that, he's out. I'm safe yeah, anyway. Like, yeah, yeah, you could have yeah. taken that. <laughs> big throw, big miss. Manavong protecting his teammates. Number 12 on the left wing. Lindsay passing the play call. Two seconds on the shot clock. Misses number 13. Donovan Wilk. He is no more. Jason He, one of the newer players to the team. Cross courts and it back and forth action trades. Big sneeze by Ben. <laughs> and to be fair, like for anyone like listening, I, I, I moved my mic way, way away. It was a huge sneeze. Two shots fired, missing high and wide, testing out the strength of the net. The Ocean Avenue of... <laughs> pump fakes. I love that it's like body pump fakes that they're doing. Like they're, they're using their, their feet as part of the, the pump fake. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy to see more underhands. Yeah. Bringing in the windmill. Five, four, three, Shot fired hard, but right in the cat zone. Great work there by Danny Nguyen. You know he's a veteran because he made the catch and just looked composed. Like, he's in the zone, he's not getting too hyped by it. Like, we still have work. Three players, four balls, going wide their target, looking for Barry on the left wing. He's staying alive. Great shoes, by the way, by Barry. What, what color would you say? <laughs> <here>? <laughs> I 
I'd call that a Carolina blue. I mean, listen, both corners, oh, right? Actually, wow, you know and who our wingers are. And look in the middle. Another blue. Style is the first characteristic you look for of a good corner, right? Two and players left. Color's the only thing that matters when you're buying a pair of shoes. Nothing with comfort, support, you know, preventing real things. No, what color is it? <laughs> two players, two balls apiece, and a hard hit <laughs> on the opposing winger. McDougal's taken out. That's what he don't gets for block. playing shoes. I was going to say, don't block with your face, but yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> I think it was his shoes. He hid them. Okay, three players heading the line. Shot on Canton with a two ball block. Hustles in to talk to his teammate at Evans. This is a, a repeat of an earlier set. Balls up Ooh. and uncatchable. Great hit. And lots of balls still for Frenzy. It's their burden to throw. I think that's Evans on the side of Frenzy. Just a Good job getting that. Yeah. Like when you just do the minimum required to like just swat it away, it's dangerous. It just feels like your wrist is exposed. Oh my God. Uh, there's something about like the, the Vancouver area that I've noticed like since coming up here and playing for all these years. Like they're so good at just those little like real close body push blocks. Like a little, yeah, flick and yeah, just um, uh, so for so many, and so a point here for, for Eclipse makes it an even game. But yeah, just the, almost like the, the, there's a, a lot of emphasis of like kind of elbows in and, and kind of minimum required move. Yeah. I'm very much so uh, like get the ball out as far in front and like make contact with it. Uh, and the, this Vancouver style of uh, really close and like making sure you're blocking where it's going to hit you. I wonder if it deals with curves better, but either way, I'm so impressed by it every time. I'm sure the refs hate it, but. Oh my goodness, yeah, yeah, when you just see that it's too close to call moments. Advantage those on Frenzy. They've been doing good on the opening rush. And a hard oh. hit, but it stuck to him like Velcro. <laughs> Cowden just throwing that head back in dismay. McDougal protecting his teammates. He gets taken Ooh. out. Great move there by Manavong and Co. Bray at the line, taken out. Captain on Captain, violence before there. Quiet moment there, but Filion going to the middle, protecting his teammates. Makes his way to the right wing. Locked and loaded. Darish sends it. At least one player taken out, it was Anderson. I like that move, committing to the aggression, you know, diving forward underneath it and keeping with that, that aggressive move forward. I'm liking that play from, uh, is that Phil Filion? Guillaume Villiam. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Dangerous throws. Lies taken out. Naran. We got two Eclipse players. Three for Frenzy. Now the body mobility by Manavong on the left wing is legendary in Victoria. His ability to be up at the line uh, even without a ball is still dangerous. It's like you, the, I, I always enjoy just his ability to spin around, go low. New for me is he in the middle. Looks like he made a behind the back play call. Telling Manavong to send it. Four balls, two players for Eclipse. Are we going to see an aggressive defense here by Frenzy? I think so. They've, uh, yeah, they're, they've been really capitalizing yeah. on these transitions. Yep. Transition dodgeball is so important. These moments where our footing isn't really f well set. Ooh. What a way to set that up, man. Yeah. With that, that dropping curve. Like if you have to look for a double team, throwing one is a curveball in there. Oof. Yeah, that's the thing too, is like not throwing it at the identical times or having different throws. You can see where he was just trying to like not know how to squeeze around the balls. And like you commit to a move often when you're jumping or dodging. Yeah. Uh, but like when the, the balls are different, you, you can't actually match yourself up well. Toss back. Good hits. I think that's two players out for Eclipse. I think so. Full Frenzy. court still for Frenzy. Frenzy's earning their name between the aggressive defense to offense transition and 
all these uh, been playing well at the rush as well. Cowden slides, saves a ball. April Ference wasn't needed in that moment. But an extra ball retriever, always handy. Oh man, this is a strong couple minutes here for Frenzy. Eclipse needs to, to hold her own right now. Manavong gets two right at the face. Lindsay in the middle with the play call. Running down to the final minute. Advantage, final minute with Frenzy. With a one point set, this is so important right now. Might be that moment where if they do get a pretty, and they, as they do, a pretty significant player advantage, managing the clock becomes the second part of their strategy. Uh, do you know if they can tie or every match has to have a win? I believe they're a tie. It's be just because the, the clock is a, um, a tournament clock. Yeah, so frenzy 30 needs seconds to win. But you do have to still play out the sudden death, no matter what. Yes. Okay, three balls, five players. Less than 20 seconds left. We're down to 10. Counterattack. Ball goes wild. Barry's out. One v five. So this still is eligible for a tie. Yeah. As, as much as Frenzy might be feeling amazing right now with a massive player advantage. Which is exactly what you don't want, right? Like you don't want to be feeling too good right now. We've seen 6v1 comes back. This is 5v1. Like. All right, Dan Lai. Shot, a full send, but misses. No blocking. Man, I got quiet. <laughs> we need some pump up music in the background here. Lie deserves it. One V five. DMCA free though, please. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, okay. what a target to choose. Watch out. Remember, Bray's got that nasty throw. He's yeah. been calibrating it all morning. I was going to say, of all the targets to pick, Bray is the, the big one. Uh. So accurate. And put a win on the board for Frenzy. Four, two. Let's, uh, let's check in with the standings here. Let's see. Uh, well, that was fantastic. Here, I'm going to walk around for a little bit, Bill. Cool. Let's see where we're at standings wise. What's in so far here? So Vendetta has six points. Oh no, it's a plus or minus. Okay, so points wise. Did that get tripped? Uh oh. Oh, that came out. Mitch, this, this got unplugged. Oh, is the GoPro connected to that? Okay. I okay, but we're still live though, or? Oh, okay. Cool. We had a power incident with one of our things. The video is, is frozen, but we are still here. Still plenty of dodgeball. The world is not uh, frozen in time in Vancouver. Ben, what's our... Uh, ben, oh my god. Mitch, what's our, uh, what's our next match here?
flips back to back on court one. <laughs> we will be right back. Watch some ads. Specially chosen for you by computers. And we're back. Eclipse. Again, how many times do you see Eclipse to 
two uh, uh, moments in a row going up against Tidal. One thing, you will never see this again. Uh, Cerberus beat Hyper 3-2. to two. That's men's Hyper losing to Cerberus on court two just now. And they're off the toss back. Wilk sends it, but he gets countered very quickly. McDougal on the right wing gun as well. Advantage, title. Shot fired low and missing. Love these jerseys. Robertson rips it. Missing number six. Anderson, I believe. Bird in the throw, title. Three players heading to the line. Pump fakes. Shot fired. Goes over to the commentary desk and back to title. And the thrower is taken out. Four ball advantage. Title to the line. One shot perfectly placed. Taking out Lai. Very staying alive. Darish protecting that ball and sending it back to his teammates. We had a little moment here, maybe checking on whether that was okay or not. And all good, all good. Some collapse all around, little tidal wave. Three players, three balls, four balls. Strong throw right to the winger, taking him out. With the rebound, it's still Eclipse. Anderson in the middle with the play call telling number 23 Barry to make it happen, but he doesn't. Titles play, one, two, counter attack missing. Strong hits. Wu's taken out in the process. Three V three. Shot clock down to three. Nguyen sends it by himself. Big rip, going too high. Right winger staying alive. He makes the play call right now. Ready. Yeah. Can you hear me? Right. Play now call you by hear. Anderson. Three, you in? Ready? It's Anderson with the throw himself. Again with the play call by the right winger number 18. Six three v three draw, just get stuck yeah. here. Holloway, taken out, breaking it, <laughs> making my day. Right, <laughs> the commentator curse. You had to say something, man. Oh, <laughs> I was watching this one week eighteen football game, and they're like, "This is the longest game without a uh, a penalty since blah blah blah," and then instantly penalty <laughs> call. In, slowing his teammates down. Anderson in the middle. Barry on the left. Three, two, double ball block. Staying alive. I like to call it when they leave one right there, castling, because it just it provides so much more defense for yourself. Yeah. Is the is that ball in the front the moat? Exactly. Right. You know, you're like yeah. you know, you think of like the. Yeah. It's just so it's so smart because like again, for anyone who doesn't know, those balls on the ground are part of the ground. So if it hits them and then goes up, that's a dead ball. Yeah, that's, uh, I think in cloth it's different though, right? Like you can hit the ball off the ground and it's live. Hey, hey. today is a cloth free day, Bill. You're right, I wouldn't want to thank I equally respect it, but let's, let's give it some space. <laughs> I've time warped from worlds to today. Uh, uh, yeah, There's it's basically been one day for you and I in our lives. Yeah. And we had to like learn so much instantly. So there's a point on the board. Uh, great moves here by Eclipse. It's rare that you see a double Eclipse, but you're on court one. Hey, you weren't around. I was trying that one earlier. <laughs> <laughs> he attempted that already. I did not land the catch, let's say. 
Okay, Eclipse, you have the advantage. McDougal, the captain, with the play call. Pump fakes, and it was a preemptive strike on their end. Barely staying alive. So aggressive by title. I mean, that was last ball, right? Like, trying to force the ball where you want it instead of letting the other team decide where it's going to go. And it, smart moves anytime you find, like, the other team is very structured. And so mm -hmm. if it's like, okay, here's our play call. Let's get set up. And if they're playing, playing wild, it, would just, it just ruins, like, the, the sort of in a vacuum moves that you've made as a team. Not thinking, what, what happens if someone runs at us? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, it, it, that's one of those moves that, like, uh, I feel like veteran teams kind of figure it out over time. Uh, and it's like one of those little details that start to make the difference of, like, hey, we've made this play call, and now this really weird thing happens, right? Like, they were very aggressive, or they had that one guy come up and force this move. Well, who deals with it, and how do we deal with it? Do we audible the play? Like, Yeah, allowing that kind of individual creativity is so important. At the, at the highest level, that's, that's yeah. when you see someone kind of unlock on behalf of the team. Go ahead. It's just the step up moves here by the right wing. It's taking me a while to see where that jersey numbers are. So that's number three on title. Shout out to Kevin Wu. Yeah, going back to that though, right? Like just knowing like this person's going to throw. So I know I just have to make it easier for them to throw. Like trusting your teammate to do their job lets everyone be more creative and knowing who's gonna take that responsibility yeah, yeah, yeah. just makes everyone so much better. Darish in a 1v situation and narrowly staying alive, says play call by a referee, Patrick David. <laughs> Shot clock counting down, three seconds left. Rips it. I liked the barely qualifier, because I thought you meant because of the way he hit the ground. <laughs> One second left. Lay, staying alive. Do you, do you wear goggles or do you do um, contacts? Contacts. Yeah, I, see, yeah. I just stick with regular glasses because mine are so cheap. But I, <laughs> I love the, the goggle look. I have, uh, I have scars on my nose from the times I forgot my contacts. I yep. just wore glasses. But the thing is, it gets in the other team's brain, right? Good two ball block. When your glasses go flying, it just ruins whatever mood the other team was in. Oh. Whoa, hey, this Beautiful is why you shot. send two. He did a perfect block again, but it yeah. fully exposed him for that second shot. The high tide, low tide combination. <laughs> nice, nice, well done. Very West Coast as well. I feel left out. <laughs> Uh, earlier today, uh, my son was talking about mountains, and it's just like he was basically like, "You people, it's because you see mountains all the time." And Mitch coming out of out of Manitoba, I actually didn't know what it was like to like be in an environment without mountains. Yeah, I I grew up in uh, Long Island, New York, and so when I moved to Seattle, like there's mountains everywhere. You're surrounded by mountains. I went from your flatland, you see nothing bigger than you, to like mountains. I still, like, will look at mountains while I'm driving. My insurance hates me. <laughs> <laughs> How can you not stare? <laughs> Back and forth. We're having this conversation because no damage done so far. Good square up of these two teams. And I'm guessing also fairly familiar with one another just because of both being Metro Vancouver teams. Wilkes by himself with the play call, sends it on his own. No damage though. Tim Yu with the play call, taking out and you in. Say it. <laughs> no damage to big chest shot. <laughs> Throw by the right winger. Missing, that's number 47. Oh, good try, Wilk. Cheering on his team as he's heading out. Four players, four balls, rushing to the line. Sends it wide, counterattacked. I love that play. Mm. Just being so aggressive, right, and being up there so long and not 
taking those shots. To a lot of back and forth. Speaking of shots, tons of them and two eliminations on the clips. Five players remaining for title. Oh, first half counting down. Two seconds left. One and uh, here we go. It's a good impression of a buzzer. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was really appreciative of that move. Like, lulled him into that false insecurity yep. and then took the shot. You could tell he wasn't expecting it whatsoever. Like, if you are constantly at the line, you're pump faking, and you never throw, teams catch on to that. Taking that one shot is going to pay off for every other time he comes yes. up there, yes. even if he doesn't throw the rest of the day. It's just so important to have, like, an internal uh, counter. Uh, kind of remembering what your typical moves are. Four seconds on the shot clock. Back and forth. Staying alive. No eliminations. All these throws. Huge ball advantage by Title. Barry doing his best to stay alive. Remember him with the up, down, left, right, A, B. So much ball advantage by Title that Eclipse is letting it know to their teammates. They don't like that. And now a 1v situation. Ball goes whizzing by James Durant. Remember, no blocking. Oh, little preemptive strike misses. Four players, four balls. Now Again. Pretty unique throw as well. Here we go. Tide, Tide comes in. Tide gets the out. Not going to make a Tide joke. Oh, I'm waiting to shoe in. That's no moon. So, I'm waiting for him. <laughs> so, we're going to take a moment to talk about your Buffalo Bills. Uh, the, the, any uh, Super Bowl odds or uh, shout out? I think it's 100% right in Vegas. Oh, they, my goodness. The, everyone's just agreed. Bills are taking it this year. And if anybody decides against that, uh, don't don't talk to me. Yeah, no. I hey, don't want to hear that energy. Uh, my doppelganger, actually, Josh Allen. The amount of times I've I've had people say like I, I've got the like awful beard, and like <laughs> just like <laughs> thick build. <laughs> Is that how people tell you? Like, hey, you look like Josh Allen. You no, got that awful beard. I infer. <laughs> and the opening rush, toss back, two balls, toss, and oh. a wild throw. Barry is not totally ready for that. That's kind of like a, just like it was sort of coming at your face in a really awkward way. Oh, that's that's rough, right? Like you were expecting that cross court to hit the guy in, in between, <laughs> yes. just and like you're like, oh, it's you. gonna hit him, yep. and then you get hit in the neck, and you're like, that that wasn't that supposed to happen that way. Ball advantage, title, sends it. McDougal staying alive. Whoo, in, wow. Three, two, takes out the winger, Robinson, Robertson. Three, two, no damage. Watch out for McDoodle on the right wing. All right, pushing him back. Whew. Big throw, big hit. Taking out Anderson. Four players, four two balls. Two for two weird headshots. And as they say that, they get a mid-court little tap. and Little tapper taking out Wilk, number 13. Again on Wilk, though, right? Like those weird, you know, off-momentum kind of plays. Yeah, the throw style of title is very interesting just in terms of, like, the moments that they, they choose to throw. Mm -hmm. Play call here by Captain Tew. Yeah, they're not, uh, they're not afraid to go down to one ball. I think you called this up before at uh, Canadian Nationals where like just how many teams are comfortable throwing until one and relying on that middle player to kind of <laughs> force the play into them instead of what the other team wants. Um. Oh, counterattack. Wow. wow. Strong backcourt throw by McDougal taking on his opposing winger. Five balls, three players. 
Three seconds in the shot clock. See, there's that like quick, simple block. Just, just this yeah. lightly tapping it, and it's not aggressive in any way. Oh, <laughs> just, just plopped in. It's so handy when like everyone around you, when like there's a close throw, is just going ground, 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 just to confirm. Lots of balls for Eclipse right now. McDougal and Nguyen. Oh man, the flying squirrel by McDougal there. Yes, the way he rips his body up in the air. That's incredible. I missed it. Ah, uh, just gets the knee. Hey, stay away from Nguyen's hips. He's a great catcher. But there's a lot of title players. Four remaining. Ball advantage, though. Eclipse. Solo throw goes coast to coast, missing that opposing winger. Two ball block. It's such a close game, though, that like you're you're kind of a little bit nervous for the the score. That if if the clock counts down, you, you don't want to lose a long one. Yeah. Yeah. Eclipse wants to end this fast with a loss or just get the win, right? Like there there is no middle ground here because of that time. Wu tapped out. Wu's been doing so good at just controlling the court. Yeah. It was the one that got the catch, so that's a big out. Uh oh, here we go. go. Sun's out, guns out. You got to catch this one. No ball defense. And he stayed alive. Again. You said sun's out, guns out. I mean, you're playing against Eclipse. The sun's not out. <laughs> Way to go, Bill. <laughs> that. <laughs> That's why I get invited and uninvited. Bill Fisher, places. man of the match, just for that <laughs> comment. <laughs> Who cares? It's a brilliant 1v situation. <laughs> and there we go. Great play, though. A crucial point on the board by Title. Puts him up by two. We have under five minutes remaining in this, this, this game. Second half and the game. A title has been so good at kind of doing that. God, there's a lot of them. This is a, it's a high tide. Um... There's a... Uh, <laughs> well, we'll keep workshopping these for the playoffs as well. <laughs> Just hit me until, like, it, yeah. you get what you want. Uh, <laughs> Defensive <laughs> posture here, D-U. I'm guessing it's uh, D, first name, U. I'll just take Derek U. But yeah, I've been... Uh, we've seen Title kind of do things at all of the moments that you don't normally see, right? Mm -hmm. Eclipse mm. is one that has to turn it up now. I wonder how they're going to approach that and how title responds with those, you know, we can kind of do things from anywhere and feel confident. Well, lull in the action, advantage here for title. Let it rip, no damage. McDougal with the play call. Four balls with three players heading to the line. Pump fakes, missing. Lay putting pressure, gets countered, and hustles off court. Good response to get a clip started. Beautiful foot shot. Shoot shot, ball's up! Choi had that moment of going like, oh, if, I, like, if you instantly knew, maybe you could have got it. Oh, McDougal, exposed and taken out. Looks like he wanted that catch with the form of like that little lean back but the ball was in hand. Kind of a... Unsuccessful block. Two players left for title. Eclipse wants this so bad right now. Are they saying 20 seconds? There's one, they need one more. They have to win this. Yep, have to, have to. Remember, point differential matters as well for the overall scoring. Yeah. Two, two, two minutes. 
I heard something about 40 so seconds wide. from the team, so I didn't know if the timer was off, but good to know. I saw the ref go like this. Okay. Okay, we're inside of 10 seconds left in the, in the match. Oh! oh. <laughs> Two ball block, and that is the end of the match. We're going into sudden death. Ooh, currently with a two-point lead and a major player advantage. Robertson all by himself. Going up against four players on Eclipse. Title will at least leave here with the three points. Terish, gone. One elimination with three more to go if your title. Advantage, Robertson. Sends one, get ready for the counterattack, but it didn't come. I like that dodge, that little just lean back to get around it. It's a lot like the little push, push block. <laughs> Robertson rips one low. Watch out for da James Durant on the left. Yes. Boom, boom. There's a point on the board. 3-2 is your final score for Eclipse. Title with the win. Great match. It was Eclipse so close. Had the Clips had them right where they wanted to, to, to come back and, and secure that regulation to come out with a tie, but uh, I think it's, tell me if I'm saying this wrong, is it Narian? I think I go Naran. I, I could be totally off. Uh, I, I remember trying to, to get it straight in 2022 uh, Provincials, uh, but that's something, that's, that's some homework for us there, Bill. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Having said that, there was no player bios this year. Uh, so we, we don't have, if you're, if you're wondering why we're not sharing great details about all these players and fun facts, that is, uh, we just have the rosters. All right, well. Reminder, this year is commentary by robots, AI. This yeah, exactly. Not real people. Oh, hello, chat GBB. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's BBB, right? The Ben and Bill AI program. Even though we're actually just AIs. <laughs> All right. Uh, so checking out the schedule, it is going. Our friends Nocturnals are going to be coming back, going against Vendetta. See, I'm also going to be looking forward to here. Um, so being a Victorian myself, the Hyper versus Hardest Foam, putting that on the mainstream. Oh, yeah. So shout out to anyone in Victoria that's listening right now and watching. Nocturnals and Vendetta both went to Nationals. Um, so it'll be kind of the kind of just being able to see teams with that have that experience. Uh, last Wasn't there a fourth team that also went last year? Uh, so I believe Nocturnals was the fourth team. So it was... Got it. So I Nemesis was also... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I remember it was three guaranteed seeds and they added the fourth. When do they know exactly how many uh, seeds they're going to get? So, yeah, right now it's three men's teams. So I'm very excited for the bronze medal match. Um, because it's a smaller venue this year, I don't uh, know if we're going to see uh, like additional teams added. Uh, like there's like, oh. there's going to have a tradition of it right now of like a sort of a late ad, uh, and then there's two women's teams, so um, it's it's you know, and there's also yeah, fewer women's teams playing right now. It's not it's representation by population right now, uh, so it'll be exciting to see the kind of that semifinals in, in both yeah. genders, but especially for the women, where because if we're watching the gold medal match, it's, it's more of a uh, that's for seeding in terms of necessarily where where you get placed and of course just winning right there. yeah so you know pointing that one out so today is very important for the women's side which starts at three o'clock today for yep, yep. for the
those at home that are looking to tune in on that. Yeah, that that's, that that can be so hard, right? Like, especially if you like you look over at the other side. Is that you know you're on that one side of the bracket and you're like, I think I'm better than both of those teams. But like, you know, that's that's why round robin is so important. Yep. yep. Well, speaking of, so just to go over that for a little bit, you're watching the 2023 Dodgeball BC Provincial Championships in Surrey, BC. Um, and there's eight men's teams. There's five women. So we're going to be watching, uh, oh, there's uh, nine teams, nine men's teams, six uh, women's teams. So they're going to be playing eight men's games, five women's games. Like we said, the three men advance, two women. If you're curious about Dodgeball's whole, you'll see rosters that are larger than six because they want to rotate in players. Um, I'm not super familiar with the eligibility requirements. Um, usually, um, like most provinces, they need to, to pay, uh, play to qualify. Um, so you'll, you'll see this team here that, you know, it's not necessary for a player to be participating in this, in this, this match here, but it's their roster that's eligible for nationals. Can, so we talked about this last year at nationals is it still true that you have to be on the court at provincials to play at nationals or did that change so that that varies by province so it's a, the the pso is allowed to to make those those rules and like if you're in the chat and it's like it's different because this isn't the uh, like the most publicly announced thing but like the the, the history at least uh, last year was uh the province would make a decision around eligibility uh and especially the other part of it being uh let's say um Vendetta on the four court advances, but they want to build up their roster and they, they can pull a player from uh, Nocturnals. And then we're going to check in on some scores here using the power of not the internet, but family. <laughs> court three, hard as foam, six, frenzy with one. Hard as foam. Do you want to chat on the stream? Okay. So, I think it was last year's finals. I think Hard as foam won like 13 1. Right? Uh, to, to see that six. 6-1 score or from Frenzy, right? Like, I, I want to see, does that gap close this year? Mm. Yeah, well, and like, and, and I, one of the things I appreciate about Hardest Foam is they're actively working to close the gap out west. Right? Like, just having the service team and one of the things they know is like, uh, for their overall performance nationally, you need to be playing against other strong teams. And so, yeah. like, in the short term, it seems like an irony to build up other strong teams. But, it, but like if you know you're advancing, you need to be prepared to, to go see uh, Future in, in Alberta. You need to see the, um, the players in like for Rampage, Mavericks, uh, um, who am I forgetting out of Ottawa? Fury. Fury. Of, uh, and, and so just there, there's that proximity issue that you might have out west. And thanks to things like The Thing in Seattle, there's, there's more activity and kind of the, the sort of the western seaboard, if we were. Yeah. Um, West Coast, Best Coast, but it's it, it hasn't been the home <laughs> of this WDBF seven-inch uh, foam style, and and so it's just that, that ability. Uh, Westerns, another great example of uh, building out the sport in this area, because like the more you can kind of refine against one another, that's so helpful. Absolutely, right? Like you're not going to get better unless you're playing better people, and so if you're not bringing up people with you, or you're trying to get better, like you're not setting up the future, you're not developing that guy that's going to be on your roster three years from now, who becomes your seventh man, who becomes your co-captain eventually, like, you have to be building everyone if you want to build up your region and your country and your... Yeah, yeah. Well, a good example of that for Hardest Swarm as we transition to this game is um, uh, Willier was on another team and they brought him on and then brought him into the, the Nationals, even if not in necessarily key moments, but was helpful to kind of bring him in and give him that court time, right? Yeah, he played with them uh, at Provincials last year, didn't he? Uh, at last year, but the year before it was on another team. So, uh, so I'm thinking longer story arc. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, but enough about them. As we're watching, Vendetta on the far court, Nocturnals on the short. And we're off. Sam rips it and takes out Captain Vo. Kevin Vo on the right wing, number 61. That's a hard out to get. We talked about it uh, earlier, right? Like that rush shot can be either exhilarating or uh, like a, such a low point. And to get Kevin Vo out to start, that's a, that's yeah, a big yeah. one. Yeah, you can just, uh, especially just, in Surrey. <laughs> yeah, especially in his home <laughs> turf. Chief organizer for the Surrey Dodgeball League. Play call there by the right wing for Nocturnals. Young pump fakes on the left wing. And a, wow, what a catch. Bounces the ball like a basketball right now. Wow, rips it. Ball advantage right now for Vendetta. Oh, beautiful Young, quick shot. Gone. New, putting pressure, protecting his teammates. We've had such a an abundance of like really. What a what? catch! Hey, that's that with a ball catch where you use it as a as a defense, protecting it on that bounce against your body. Good blocks, unsuccessful by Malika right there. Two players left for Vendetta. Yeah, I don't know what the physics is that it works so well, but it's so solid. When it works, it works. Lau active blocking, holds it with both hands, swiping. Nocturnal is going in to connect as a team, and they decide on taking out the captain. <laughs> Goodbye, Peter Fenwick. <laughs> One player <laughs> left, Nick Jensen. <laughs> Young staying alive. One V. Full court press. Look out for Sam. He holds back. Communicates with his teammates. Mm, a two ball block successful. Back court counterattack, taking out number 12, Neu. Formerly of the heroic catch. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Goes far. Oh. And Laos taken out on that? Wow. I Probably like a like finger, finger block. Yes, yeah. exactly. And we will not mention cloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. High, low, staying alive. He's so tall, just be able to like protect his feet like that and do the block. Great moves. He's 300 feet tall, did you know that? <laughs> According to the blank <laughs> bios. Sam, Wong, Leung. Everybody's staying alive right now. Back and forth, no eliminations. What's going on? Zero, zero. Good block. Team's coming in for the play call. Preemptive throw, no dice. Sam just... Tiny, uh, tiny leg dodge. Just. Woo, full send. And he's still alive. Takes out one, two, and it's oh. now 1v1. Those five balls, it was incredible. Was like three misses and two hits. Game changer. Wong rips it, misses wide. I mean, he's an absolute veteran. Uh. There we go, Jensen, not Johnson. 
Goes low. I'm so impressed with his ability to just maneuver that situ that 3v1 and, and bring it down to this. Four seconds on the shot clock. Sends it near target. Still on Vendetta. We could, hear, we could hear that solid hit. Good work, that two ball block didn't quite work. Nocturnals out. Vendetta with a point. Finger blocking good. Yeah. KFC. Jensen earns the, uh, the, the, the sit out of this Oh my goodness, set. yeah, yeah. I was just, his ability to stay alive was valuable on its own. But the fact that it was a one-two punch when he came on the offense is just beautiful. And the opening rush. Boy, boy, formerly out of Montreal, is taken mm. out. That's rough. Vendetta only running the, the single ball uh, rush. Well, it's fired back and forth. Good, calm play call there by Vendetta. Ryan DeMello in the middle. Assistant captain rips it. Fenwick hey, follows. Catch. So that went off of the, the blocking ball that was used to, to counter up at Fenwick, but it blocked and caught anyway, so. Mm. Great job just keeping the head up. Kind of makes you wish there was like a plus one for another time. Five, four, yeah, like a buffer out. <laughs> I've thought about that before, like being able to have uh, seven on the court, but you only start with six. And so you can make a catch and get like one extra, like an overload. Five. Quiet in the action. Ball sent. Good work there by Vendetta. Ooh, he's, he's re all ready to go for that counterattack, but has to, to lay off very smart to, to cool your own body down. That is tough. Davey in the middle, his pump fake, puts the left winger. Whoa, time to go again. Oh boy, you can see how much the <laughs> other team loves taking him out. Step up. Joey Fenwick on the left wing right now. Two balls in hand. Pushing over Davey. Lau aggressive on the fast break, but just to protect his teammates at the end of the day. Woo! Beautiful shot. Back court defense takes out Sam. You know, that, that transition, even if they don't throw, right? Like showing what you're capable of so they don't feel comfortable up there the next time they go up to throw, yeah. right? Like you're earning so many points with that move. Absolutely. Davey rips it, goes low, staying alive. Man, just brilliant skills there. Like the left wing is a dangerous spot right now for Vendetta. Great work by Fenwick. A lot of cross courts coming out. <laughs> left on left, right on right. One minute. And if you might have heard, one minute left. Ooh, huge hit, taking out Wong. And it just mistimes that block and gets through. Mm -hmm. Davey, Fenwick, Three. to the line. Two. Boom! Vendetta taking yeah. two. They they anchored those wings so brilliantly. Like oh, sorry. scores two of them. How it. dare you, Mitch? That was just you can't take that away from them. Joey Fanwick there. Unbelievable work. This is 
Icy. Yeah, Nocturnals is looking fantastic. And yeah. then the fact that they're the 2-0 right now Oof. just goes to show like Vendetta's really pulling things out. Back and forth. So we didn't call it. There's no blocking right now, by the way. Yeah, a lot of very veteran players on the Vendetta side. Yeah. You, know, you can't count them out at any point in the match. And, and you're not just saying that because you see the mustache. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because they've seen that mustache for years they on the other side of the court, yeah, yeah. nailing me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's earned this captaincy. One, two. Whoa. Nocturnal is getting it started. What a way to go into the second half. Yeah. It's funny because, like, you go 3 nothing, and it's like, oh, man. It's just like, I guess this Vendetta has a big edge. 2-1, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the second half. That was decisive. All right, second half, switching sides. Nocturnals on the forecourt. Vendetta on the short side. Okay, so here's what I'm, I'm interested to see. What does Nocturnals do on this rush? Because I think the initial rush by Vendetta had two runners, right? One was Bo, and they, they knocked out Bo on that first rush. Yep. And so they swapped to a one-person rush instead of swapping to a pitch back to be equally aggressive and go for a trade kind of situation or, like, dissuade the, the throw at all. I want to so see how much they take advantage rush. of this here. Bo keeps himself alive. Yeah, and then it's like, to your point there, like this is pretty neat to be able to see in-game adaption and that there isn't a singular way to do the opening rush. Yeah. Yeah, especially from the, right, like there's no punishment for Nocturnals to throw that. They just want anyway, they have to throw. That's the most efficient throw you're gonna take all day. Back and forth. Back and forth, yeah, Wong, Malika taken out. Nocturnal's adjusting who the winger is. I was about to say Liang is, but no, they've moved him out of it. Pump fix. Rip. Counter. No limbs. Play call by Nocturnal. Shot clock counting down. Four seconds left. Davey protects himself, goes up. But it was Oyubi. Destin in the middle there to get hit. Nocturnals again with the play call. Four at the line. What a shot. Sniping out, Vo. Oh, my. You don't see 61 as a number much. It's like an O-lineman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he had it. Nocturnals. With momentum. Oh, yeah. Do you believe in momentum? Like the, the law of physics? Uh, the law of physics as applied to sport. Yes. And we're in a 1v situation right now. Well, Davey by himself has got a ball in hand. He's got the advantage because the fourth one's coming in. I, I believe in momentum a lot because I, there are teams out there who uh, the second you kind of get a win on them, like they kind of break. Mm. Right. Right, like they're not used to losing and you get one and they can just kind of like explode. Um, and it's like, it's almost a test of fortitude. Like, can you stay composed? Can you realize it's these little things or like something just didn't go your way and just to kind of keep with it um, and not make big changes. Like momentum is like all these little things put together. Yeah, yeah, like just being able to hold composure, you know, game to game that might be different versus in this flow of it. Again, when we mentioned that casting before, you could see how much those dead balls were protecting him. Yeah. That alligator pit. Last in. Ooh, Davey boom, gets boom, tap boom. of three. Uh. Boom, boom, boom. I don't want you on my court. <laughs> okay. 
Wow. Something about spend the night together and nocturnals, and there's a pun in there somewhere. I'll, I'll, I'll workshop it. I'll come back <laughs> later. I'll have it for you tomorrow. <laughs> Seeing some more fans join us in the stands. I, I like the energy is really picking up. I, and I, I, until then, I was just going to say the nocturnals are really just vibing right now. Vo, staying alive. Okay, Vo did the. So, so Lou, uh, Lucas Boyle, uh, shared this recently, and that's how I saw it. Uh, this pitching the ball out of bounds to have your yeah. shagger. I, what's the word? Ball retriever. Ball retriever. We're, we're, speaking shagger. of workshopping, we just really uh, need to think of it. Yeah, exactly. It's a, yeah. It's a, a, a sideline ball person, uh, and using oh. them to get the ball into where it needs to go instead of kind of doing like a no look yeah. pitch and. So, first time I've fine. There's, 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 you're not at the margins of any rules there to, to make use of your, the retrievers well. Okay, five minutes remaining in the game. Nocturnals pump fakes back and forth, and the counterattack is strong there. Two players for Nocturnals taken out. There goes their momentum. It's officially over. Yeah, gone. G O N, gone. And Dada, here you go. Four players, four balls to the line. Two strikes. And a, oh, hey, a double oh. limb. Oh. Jensen, Malika taken out. Our Excellent. final hero remains. Joey Fenwick, assistant captain. I wish we called it vice captain. The way like other countries do. Co captain or But you see like the, the VC? I know Australia do does that language for vice captain instead of A. <laughs> to your Canadians, you can't yeah, just I was say, say all your. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, isn't that right, eh? <laughs> Four seconds of the shot clock, but a preemptive throw resets it. Clarifying the ball block there. Mr. Yeah. Fenwick. Perfectly thrown, but that's that, like the advantage of that two ball block is you can just send it to the ground. Good luck doing that in uh, eight and a half rubber. <laughs> Man, I love his mobility. Whoa! Beautiful! Shot down! 1v1. This is what we need with such a close match. Ball advantage. So many two, really nice one. quick shots going on. Bit of a little drop shotter right there. Lau versus Fenwick. Ye old droppy shotty. Whew, powerful from the back. Uh, He's going to send it again. Goes to his knees. No damage. Advantage, Fenwick. That is an intentional fall, by the way. He is trying to well, get out of the way of a potential counterattack. Right? Like mm. he's dodging into his throw and using the momentum to you know, get some more speed on it. But Four, trying not to be where he was after Balls he throws. Exchanged. No limbs. Goes low, oh, grounds it. Leung. Ooh, right in there. Hey. <laughs> and that's the. <laughs> There's a few moments that would qualify so far. <laughs> That is definitely one of those uh, moves though, right? That pump fake to force the move and that that drop, you know, by default instead of as a reaction, right? That's what caught him out, right? Like, great job on the side of Nocturnals. Who was that again that, that finished that? Uh, was it Leon? Seriously, great play though. That, what a way to finish that one-on-one. -on -one. Ruby's oh, taken oh. out. The moves. I don't know how you change gravity midair, but they're figuring it out. So we're checking out the Twitch stream right now. If you have any questions or comments, shout them out now. Our little moderator, Matthew Johnson, will be checking out. Whatever you say in chat, we'll just repeat, no matter what you <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, shouts out by the captain. Vendetta, four balls, four players, spreading out. Ooh, that was an awkward. 
did he, need did a he, face. Did he, did he, did he like, yeah. <laughs> he did it to himself there, I think. <laughs> just, uh, okay, back to Vendetta, because they got the rebound. Low and alive, new, it's at your feet. Oh, oh. no! And the potential for a double tap was there. Just, just, just one, just pose. one, we're confirming. 45 seconds. Malika gets the ball for his teammates, pushes out to the wing. Two seconds on the shot clock. Wow, Liang, gone. Not a hero this set. Or will he be? We're down to Four 20 catches, seconds. Yeah. <laughs> this is close. Vendetta needs to, Vendetta needs to win in order to get a tie. At this point, because eh, yep, yep. unless they win here in regulation, they can still win in the. We, we can in a tie. Two, and the buzzer goes. Okay. Whew. So that that was almost big because that meant it was going to go three three into no block. It was an, it was no catch. It could have been yeah. It was no catch. It could have been a uh, yeah. Like we would have had the whole set in no blocking otherwise. Yeah. And so that would have been winner takes all, but whew. Okay. Huh. Fresh chalk applied here. Both teams ready. Great to see Vo out on the court finally. <laughs> Rips back and forth. No limbs. Okay. Here we go. Nocturnal's player. Kenton Wong. Malika lines up for the throw. He's got Jensen. And yes! Beautiful shot. Vendetta will take three, a tie. Three. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. What a match. Great work by both teams. Nocturnal started down Nocturnal started down 0-2. And won then three and brought straight. back one. And then we flipped side. And then they went two in a row. Yeah. And then Mendetta takes it to tie the match up. Whew, whew. Yeah. It's amazing when you think of it like the three in a row. That just seems like, uh-oh. Uh, and that, that final point makes it even yeah. Stevens. Like I, like I know we're just stating the obvious, but just kind of have a moment going, oh, I guess they only had an early start. Whereas this was just... This like two very equal teams going mm -hmm. against one another. We had that like riding high momentum for like, a couple minutes. But, yeah. Uh, I yeah, mean, like, it, it, think about it too. Like that that one on one. Yes. Right. Like was so big. It, like going the other way is a, a win for Vendetta there, going four two over Nocturnals instead of three three as a come behind. So. Whew. And th and that's like we're watching twenty minute matches. Mm hmm. Every little moment can go, go so ex extreme for overall point value. I love that. Yeah. I mean, uh, we're also watching a lot of teams uh, play no block as a bigger proportion of, this, of the match than we are going to see in playoffs, right? So uh, Nocturnals winning. I guess they, they each won, won a no block there, right? And then... Okay. We'll be right back. Next up is... I assume hard to swim in someone else. And hyper. Okay, stay tuned for that one. Stay tuned. Be right back.
We're off and underway. Hyper out of Victoria, BC. Aside from one player, Milan Garcia, going up against Hardest Foam. Just going to do a little score read. We saw in the other courts, Cerberus 8, title 0. Ooh. Hyper is coming off a win. Six points against one for seven. So team seven, mm. one point. I was a little nervous that I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big ups by John Clark, but he's out. So I get all my stuff together. Heard his foam on the short court. Hyper. Willier is taken out. Hyper with only six, at least on the roster I had. I don't know about you. Well, we do have the same roster, so let's check it out here. No, two, three, okay, I'm just missing stuff, I guess. Okay, um, do you have two Eberts? Okay, Connor Ebert is the younger. Matthew Ebert, number 69, is in the middle right there. And Roger Ebert rates movies. <laughs> Cole in the middle. Let's see if he has the throw. Yes, he does. Former Dodgeball BC president Ian Cop, number 22, staying alive. I think he worked Is that his on being. I think he worked. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Formerly known as. Um, I think he's worked on being ambidextrous. Ball's coming right to us. Was it? Was that play called three, three, three? Uh, no, no, three balls. Okay, okay, yeah. Nice and low, Garcia. Good protect. Zion Leaf, member of na uh, the 2022 Nationals team, on the on the extended roster. Yeah. Staying alive. Three players remaining for Hyper. Advantage for Hardest Foam. Pump fakes. Cobb's taken out. Kind of was committed to that jump ahead of time. Garcia, Leaf. Two players, four balls, spreading out to the wings. Such such zip coming out of these. Yep. Hyper again with the advantage. Two seconds on the shot clock, sending it at not doc. Okay. No, he, got his, he got his doctorate. Oh, oh the yeah, University of DeVry. <laughs> <laughs> Garcia, no more. 1v situation, but it's five players remaining for Hardest Home. Okay, just going to play safe, right? Knows if he takes that line that five dudes are going to rush at him and pelt him with balls. Well, so. and this is a great challenge for him. Like He's now going up against top level players. Uh, you know, and he, I would sort of say undisputed best of Victoria. Again, he's, he's making use of those extra balls as well, right? You can see how he's keeping one right in front of him. Tur playing, turn, playing smart. Yeah, turning it into to chess, right? Brilliant two ball block. Burden now for Hyper. Court to court. Here we go. Deadly at 60 feet. And yeah. Five, four, Three five. seconds left on the shot clock. Hard as foam. Needs to send it. Two balls out. No limb. Two seconds on the shot clock. Wow! Ko oh my. with the KO. I mean, good luck hitting Ko from 30 to hit him from 60. No oh my. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Wong narrowly staying alive. Yeah, yeah, he's leaving most of the court. No need to, to get up to the line. That is just true athleticism right there. 
Like he was fully ready up for the second ball. We've talked about it so many times that that trailer often gets people, and he did a full body reset. And to add a little detail, he had that little hop, right, to be a, a, in a little bit of a different place than he was before, and getting that ball back up, like. Putting on a clinic right now and anchoring, staying alive. So one of the things I look at uh, outside of dodgeball is, you know, I, I watch a lot of like wow. different athletes talk about their sport, like both, you know, traditional sports and like esports. And one of the things I've learned, uh, especially from like Rocket League in recent years, is like you want to be doing the simplest thing that makes your opponent do the hardest thing, right? Mm. It makes it really easy for you and really hard for your opponent. And I feel like he's uh, really like showing that off right now, right? Like he gets to do very simple things and hardest one has to adjust because they're not getting like oh. the easy. Oh! That was, it wasn't a trick shot, it was a trip shot. Yeah. Oh my. The, like he'd sweep the leg somehow. Well, Whew. he did the hardest thing. Yeah. Right, he had to pull that out of the bag. Yeah. Right, he didn't wear himself out. He's not panting. He like <laughs> sends it. Burke protecting his teammates and staying alive himself. Oh, okay. New, new set. Here we go. Pop spinorama. See, th those are the ones. That, it's fascinating, but like yeah. I guess he was like moving out of it and returned back to his spot. Hines joins the team. Number 22 sends it on Willier. But Willier is protecting himself. Four seconds on the shot clock. Ooh. No alarm. Yeah, yeah. Watch for Matthew Ebert in the middle there, number 69. So much power. It's Cop that sends it on Burke, missing low. Burke moving them feet. Break all three players heading to the line. Hardest foam. Burke, oh. big pow. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it so much. Big pow. Up! Oh! oh. Uh, darn net. <laughs> okay. Hard as foam with the burden to throw. Ebert staying alive. Yeah, pace of play. There's some quiet moments so far in this match. Is it 5-5 five five or is it six? still 6 on the side of Hard as foam? Three seconds left on the shot clock. Hardest foam. One ball. Counterattack. Captain Clark slowing his team down. Lots of players, lots of balls. Burden is on Hyper. Heading to the line. Hard throw, taking out Wong. Uh, big commit gets Wong there. Players heading to the line, finish in the middle. That's fun step. Very hard to hit John Clark. Five, four, three. Ooh. Quarter. Von Seavey was not prepared for it. Good strategic move. So we have a rare advantage on hardest foam. Burke, quick in transition. But no damage, no throw. Four players, four balls. They're taking their time. No hustle here. Getting it out in time and taking out Ebert. I mean, that's that's finishes bread and butter there, right? Like, everyone else setting him up, and he just gets to throw as hard as he wants. And yep, drop the hammer. Even if you block him, he throws so hard that, you know, most more times than not, it's getting blocked into you because you're not blocking the ass solid, such a whew, gas. <laughs> Garcia rips it low. Four this players, four balls. We're coming down the last 10 seconds and this hyper team is very dodgy over blocky, right? Yep. Especially with the remaining three here. Um, 
you know, we're about to go into this no block. I think Hyper kind of has the advantage. But getting Leaf is a big turn there. Yep. Clark on the left wing, Garcia on the right. A little play call time right now. Both sides ready for middle, sudden death, no blocking. So emphasis on the dodging right now. In the past, I've des described John Clark's moves when he's in the air. It's like a grocery bag in the wind. Just so unpredictable. Clark and Co. <laughs> missing Grocery Burke. bag in the wind. When you see it, you'll see it. Ball goes low. Just love that one. Dodge the outline. <laughs> and two players, four balls. They're spreading out. Right at the last moment, balls come out. Staying alive. Shot clock counting down. Cross courts. Burke's the target, but no damage. Just keeping it simple. Just in time again. That, that must be a strategy to take as long as they can on that shot clock. Um, yeah, I, don't, I guess they don't want to wear themselves out or, I don't know, like keep it as close as possible, as long as possible. Because, I mean, if you play hardest foam and you try to play them at the fastest place, pace possible, I feel like it's really hard to keep up with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, and, and if you're going point differential, if that was your primary strategy, you're, you're just trying to drag the overall score. Woof. Oh. Full yeah. send. I don't even know if it's point differential so much as like keeping it close that you can still win at any point. In this yeah, match. yeah. That, like, well, like we yeah. said, when in a twenty-minute match, any individual moment is so powerful. So if you if you're sort of dampening the action, yeah. like okay, it's two at the at the half. 